hey guys welcome back to simtech channel so in this tutorial i'm going to show you guys some of the basic features of dig silent power factory so the first one is where to find your project so you may accidentally close your dig silent and you open it up again then your project is not there well do not worry it's easy just come into your data manager here and you're gonna see the list of projects that you've been working on your network diagram and everything okay here you can create folders as we said already in the previous tutorial so if you want to open any one of these uh, projects here you just click on it and then you say activate right then your project is going to activate and it will open as you can see and obviously once your project is open you can go ahead and run a short circuit analysis or a load flow analysis right now the next uh, feature i'm going to show you is how to save your project so a lot of people find it very difficult to basically save so what you actually have to do is to export your project so go back to the data manager and you can see that the project that you've been working on is active now you cannot export it unless you deactivate it so if i click on it and say export you're going to see i'm going to get an error even if you are using a newer version of dig silent you're still going to get an error okay so you first need to deactivate the project once your project is deactivated you can then go ahead and click to export it okay as you can see i've already exported the first project so i'm just going to go ahead and click on save and these options popped up now here you have to make sure that you select these two options if you want to export every settings of your project okay and that is very important you don't need to uh, export to previous version that's not necessary in fact it might corrupt your project if you select that option okay so then you can go ahead and execute the export at the same time you can import it back into your project by coming to import and you're going to see your projects are located where you save them i'm going to click on basics 2 and open now once i execute it's going to basically open or create a copy of the project that's already exists there so if i click on it activate you realize that it is the project that i was working on okay and you can still uh execute right a short circuit analysis no problem it will work or you can execute a load flow analysis no problem it will still work because it is a project that you exported okay i'm going to go ahead and deactivate it and delete it right now another feature on your dig silent uh, working environment is the freeze mode okay so these are all the components that you use to basically build your network now if you click on this locker here basically it's going to freeze or gray out all the components so at this point you're not able to select a component to pull it into your network if you want to unfreeze it you just click on that locker at the same time you can also do it here by basically uh, hiding it okay so that extend your window environment where you're going to be building your network so these quick features can basically enhance your productivity in dig silent now another good features of dig silent is the ability to basically make duplicates of components so let's say we're working with this transformer here and we already know all the parameters that we've entered in this transformer okay now we want to make a duplicate basically add another transformer across now the long way will be to pull in another transformer that basically you have to connect from one bus bar to another and then go back into the settings start from scratch to enter all the parameters now the other option would be to basically just copy this right copy and paste so that basically will enable you to also copy the transformer with its settings and attach it to your bus bar. So this will result in something like this, two copies of the same transformer. And if you run your simulation, it will not complain. It will basically just drive. As you can see, we were pulling uh, a 13 megawatt from one transformer, from a single transformer. 
Now, since these two transformers are basically equal, now they are dividing the load 6.5 and 6.5. Okay, so if you add another transformer, right, if you add another transformer here, they're going to also divide the load equally. Okay, let's go ahead and add this transformer. We need to add another cubic. Okay, because we've run out of space there. Now, when we run this uh, load flow analysis again, you can see that now they are driving 4.3 megawatt, 4.3 megawatt each, right? Because these two transformers, they have exactly the same settings. Now, remember, this goes with the conditions uh, in which you have to put transformers in parallel. They must have the same turn ratios. They must have the same primary and secondary voltage and so forth and so on. This is why they are able to divide the load right equally and perform well, now, if you do not want to make these duplicates, right, which this is good for illustration, okay, but if you are running a giant network, okay, a big network with lots of components and you are running out of space, well, what you can do is, I'm going to remove it, okay, as you can see, three transformers, they were driving 4.3 each, so I'm going to go ahead and just cut it and come back into this transformer here and use this feature here parallel transformers i'm going to go ahead and put three there okay and say okay now by the way guys please if you find this tutorial useful don't forget to subscribe to simtech channel and give this tutorial a thumbs up that will be highly appreciated now uh, coming back to the tutorial i'm going to then run this okay now here you can see that uh the transformer is basically driving a 13.0 megawatt now believe you me we are running three transformers right in parallel okay but the total power that is being driven by these three transformers is 13.0 megawatt now look at the loading right look at the loading of the transformer the loading is 18.1 so they are dividing the load right equally by three now if i stop this okay if we stop this uh simulation we come back in here and we reduce this by two okay let's reduce this by two now we're still going to drive 13 megawatt here but the loading is going to change because now we only have two of them let's go ahead and run it okay now you can see the loading is 27 percent okay now we're still driving 13 megawatt why because there is only two transformers that are now dividing the 27 percent each okay if we go back to the beginning right let's first stop this we go back to the beginning and we put this only one transformer okay and we run this again you're going to realize that this single transformer is 54 percent overloaded okay it's 54 percent overloaded so that is it so you can simplify your circuit simply by going through some of these basic settings